All right. Step, step your second leg forward. So now we're going to take our right knee forward, turn the left hip down, slide the left leg back. You can untuck the toes, draw the left knee forward, and then rise up. Placing your right hand on the mat, bend the left, reach for the foot, shifting that left hip back, bring the left heel forward. I try to take my left heel outside my hip. Good, release, swing the left knee forward and face you. So my right foot is in my left inner thigh, grounding the hips down. Turn to your left and twist. Ribs draw in. Place your left hand down, pressing to the knees. Go ahead and lift up. And then release. Lift. And take the right knee across, grounding that right hip down. Twist. You can take, I think I did this the other side. Left knee up, sorry. Left hip down, left knee forward, twist. If you want, slide the elbow outside. Pressing into the left foot, move the left hip forward. Draw the lower belly in and up. Ground the left hip down and twist deeper to your left. Inhale, look over your right shoulder and release. Come on to the knees, stack the left on top. Take your right arm up, shoulder back, bend the elbow, hold the elbow and ground that right shoulder. Take the left arm up and out and find the bind if you can. Release the left shoulder down. And then release. What I'm, we should do here now is bring your right shin forward, flexing the right foot. See if you can activate the outer right ankle lifting. Lift the left foot up. You can manually turn the toes down, keeping the feet active. This is going to give you an outer rotation of that left hip. And then bring your inner elbows onto your shin. Press the heel down, press the knee down, and if you can, bring the heel in, lift up, ground that left hip down. I'm going to place my left ankle on the right knee. Some of you are going to have this knee up, which is fine. I just want you to keep your feet active. You can lift your hips up and shoot them back and bring the knee down. Placing your right hand either outside the foot or on the floor, twist to the right. Back to center, twist to your left. Coming back to the center, lift the knee up, extend the leg, place the left foot outside the knee, wrap your arm around, and again, twist to your left. From now here, I'm going to take my foot and bring it close to the left thigh, but I like to make a couple inches space here. Lean forward if you can. Either hold the leg, hold the foot, or come into the bind and open out to the right. And if you want, you can forward fold. And then lift up, bring the knee down, bring the heel into the groin, turn over the right leg for Janu Shasana, grounding that left hip down. You can hold the shin and move your right hand forward, slide the belly over to the right, moving that left hip forward, the left waist forward. If you can grab your foot, go ahead. So if you want to fold, try not to do it like this. I want to fold from the hips leading through the, the chest, one hand, two hand fall, and then come up, 
lift the knee up and you can shake it out. Then we're going to bend the left knee, parallel the shin to the front of your mat, lifting the right up, take it across, here goes Wally, bend the elbow, hold the lower leg, your foot is active, you can actively turn the toes downward, pressing the left ankle, I mean the right ankle into the left elbow, the right knee down and forward, bring the heel in and rise up. We did a stand, we did a down dog hindalasana, we did a standing hindalasana, now this is seated. Bringing the ankle on the knee, keep the knee on um, the ankle lifted. You can move the hips back to bring the knee down. Flexing the feet, lift the ankles up. Twist to your right. Twist to your left. Come on out. Lift the knee up, extend it, place the foot outside the knee. Go round the hip down, slide the belly over. You can hold the knee or take the elbow out. Some of you like to bind if you feel that you are ready. Your body is open enough, you can come into the bind. Make sure your left toes are straight up. And then release out. Foot comes outside the knee. Say hi to Wally. Bring the heel back, bring the hip down. Then take the elbow inside, turn to the left. You can reach for the foot. You can wrap the elbow around. Round that hip down when you twist. Try sure I just noticed that my left toes were turned out a little bit. If you want, you can forward fold. I'm getting kisses, thank you very much. And then release. Let's bring our feet together, knees apart. If you have one, oh, you know what we didn't do? I knew what I was opposed to, I was forgetting. Janu Shashasana. Bringing your heel, see if you can bring your heel into the inner groin, turn to face your left leg, sliding your, I got sidetracked by Wally, sliding your right hand outside the shin, either hold your foot, hold the floor. Use levers to slide your belly over to the left like a sliding glass door. Keep that right hip moving forward as you back the left ribs back. Ground the hips down. If you want a forward fold, please do it from the waist, the hips, not the middle of the back. One hand or two. Inhale, lift up. Feet together now for Baddha Konasana. If you want to sit on a blanket, you may do so. Rise up, lift your chest. So think about pressing the sit bones down, lifting the knees up, drawing the ribs in, and then extending from the hips through the knees. Now I need to have you move, sweetie pie. I'm going to take my legs in about a 90 degree angle. Don't go wider because we're going to twist. This is Upavishta Konasana. We're going to twist, and then if it's too wide, what happens is the back hip lifts up. I like to sit on the point of my blanket so I can get in front of my sit bones with a lumbar curve. I'm going to draw the lower belly in and up. Let's bring your elbows up. Keep that right thigh grounded, twist to the left and then just lean toward the left, and then come on up, keeping the left hip grounded, turn to the right, and lean over to the right, come on up, first side again, this time I'm going to stretch my arms, placing my fingertips onto the mat, or the floor, keeping that right side grounded, slide the belly over to the left, some of you may be here, and if you lift the knees up like this because your hammies are tight, please, that's fine. I want you to hurt your hamstrings. You can hold the shin and use it as leverage. If you're flexible in the arms, 
you can grab your foot. And then some of you I know, too in mind, here today will be able to forward fold beside me. Make sure your right hip is down. Let's rise up. And everybody lift the knees up to start. Bend the elbows, turn over to the right. Lean a little forward, stretching your arms, find the floor. Back the right waist to the right and back, moving that left hip forward. If you want to extend the legs, you can, holding the shin. Reach then for the foot. One hand, two hand, and fold. Twisted, wide-legged forward fold, Pavrita Upavisha Konasana. This works the more of the left waist, left hip, the QL. And then inhale, come on up, lifting the knees up, bring the feet together, come into a nice Baddha Konasana. And then we are going to lie on our backs. Starting some twisting on our backs. Lay on the back. Take your arms out in a T. Join your legs. Lift the lower back off the floor. Squeezing your legs together with your feet active. Flex and toes spread. Bring the knees over the head. Ground the elbows and shoulders down. Take a full breath in. We're going to turn the knees to the right and the left, but we're not going to touch the floor. I want you to work the abdominals. Lower belly lifts in and up. I want you to draw the ribs in towards each other. Full breath in. Stay with the ujjayi breath. Come halfway down. Hold. Breathe. Inhale and lift it up. And then halfway down to the left. Keep your right shoulder down. Inhale, lift up, come halfway down, and maybe a little further down. Stick your butt back, keep your ribs active. Hold it and breathe. Lift your knees up, take it halfway down, and maybe a little further down. If you press into the left elbow, that helps turn the torso more to the right. Lift up. Now go all the way down. Place your right hand outside your left knee, grounding that right elbow, turn the torso more to the left, and then gently lift the knees up into the hand and twist. Release, squeezing your legs, working the abdominals, inhale, lift up. Exhale all the way to the left, placing your left hand on the outer knee, press the elbow down and turn the torso to the right, and then lift your knees isometrically up into your hand and stick your butt back. Ground that right shoulder. Inhale, lift your knees up. Placing your right foot down, stack your left on top, moving the hips to the left. You can interlace your foot like we did standing, and then take your knees all the way over to the right. Pressing into the right elbow, turn to your left. It's more important that left shoulder stays down if you can, then the knees touch the floor. ahead and lift up. Unwind your knees. Come back to the middle. Stacking your right knee on top of your left. Press the left foot down. Shift the hips over. If you want, you can come into the, the bind or the stack. And then let the knees come to the left. Turn your torso more to the right so you can get that right shoulder down. Deep, deep spinal twist. Smile. Release. When you smile, it releases endorphins. It actually allows the body to release. 
and gently unwind. Feet together, knees apart, Baddha Konasana. Let's bring the knees in, take the soles of the feet up, holding the outer foot, turn the feet parallel if you can, and bring the knees down, bring your butt down, bring your shoulders down. Release your lower back. And then come on out. Bring the hips in a little closer towards you and extend the legs. Time for Shavasana. Try and maintain a curve in the lower back. You can take your arms out in a T. You can take your hands by your side. Try and see if you can keep your palms open. Another sweet way to do Shavasana, you might twist it here, is maybe one hand at the belly and one hand at the heart. This is also really nice to just connect back into your breath and feel grounded. And as you breathe deeply, know that what we long for, what we have the willpower and the strength to attain and be able to laugh helps us succeed in life. Wishbone, hope, desire, dreams. Cinderella, Cinderella said a dream is a wish our heart makes. Backbone, strength, strength of character, fortitude when we encounter adversity. Holding our ground to find the dreams. And then our sense of humor, the lighter side, laughter is healthy. So every day right now, try and find laughter. Try and allow the heart to open up and sing with your laughter. Bending your knees, come roll to your right. Turn towards the floor. Use your hands and arms to bring you up to a seat. After deep twisting, it's good to sit tall, allowing the energy from the crown of the head to ground back down to your hips and your legs. So finding a comfortable seat, see if you can get a curve in the lower lumbar spine. Try to find a seat where your knees can drop down. Tilting the top of the hips forward, draw the lower belly in and up, and then just gently lengthen the spine to the crown of your head. Let's place our hands to our heart. Imagine the energy from the crown of your head now grounding back down as you gently bow. Namaste. I hope you all had a great class. I am going to stop our recording.